wonderful people, welcome back to the channel. My name is Osere May, and if today is your first time on this channel, you're especially welcome. Please click the subscribe button, turn on your notification bell so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. Here on this channel, I share African fashion and sewing tutorial videos. So if that is something you're interested in, then you should definitely click on the subscribe button. Today's video is one that I'm very excited about because I'm going to be talking all about what I ordered versus what I got. We all know how it is when you see a particular style that you like and you look for a very beautiful fabric and you take it to the tailor and you ask the person, especially when you ask them like, can you make this style? They're like, yes, are you sure you can make it? They're like, ah, yes, I can make it. And the next thing you're seeing when you go to collect your clothes, the material, you're seeing something absolutely different from what you ordered for. So if that is something that interests you, that is something you're interested to know about, let's go straight into this video. Let me first of all clear up something guys. This whole issue of what I ordered versus what I got, I personally believe that most times the issue is 50-50. 50% for the customer and 50% for the tailor. Like there's some times when um, a customer brings a particular Instagram style that probably um, from a celebrity and probably they made that dress with 30,000 naira and you are bringing that dress to a local tailor and you want to make, you want to recreate that kind of a dress with 2-5 how? I don't know, how possible is it? like, I don't know how possible it is for that to actually be the same thing I feel like that is kind of where the issues begin to come in because there is no way you can bring in a style on Instagram from celebrities and you want to recreate that style for 2 5 and you want it to be exactly the same thing. It's not possible. So, this first one here is, um, I think it's exactly the same fabric, everything. You like it's not really bad. This is not really bad. This is the, the tailor got everything right the sleeves, the neck. gotten right here but I just feel like what is wrong in this dress is that first it's too long for the person wearing it and secondly it's too big I feel like if they hold this dress a little bit more it's going to fit this person more it's going to actually fit this person if they hold it more I don't know what you guys are thinking about this but I feel like this very first dress I'm showing you guys it's too big for this um the tailor made it too big she didn't get the measurements right at all and that's why it looks like this if she makes it tight definitely going to be like body and um, customer order. Let's move to this next one. I think it was trending one time that they recreated for Tolani the Big Brother Naija contestant. Like did she not see the works that this designer has done before? Like I believe that most celebrities go for high class designers. Another thing I was thinking about this dress was that probably <laughs> this uh, designer is one of those people that just didn't like this uh, tall anime when she was a big brother because I don't understand why a tailor would want to do this kind of thing to her own business. I believe that every single fashion designer, every single tailor out there is looking for this kind of opportunity to make a dress whatsoever for a celebrity. And you got this kind of opportunity and you don't decide to do it. This, this, I, I don't know, I don't know. It's not even what, it's not even close to what she wanted. Everything is just at the point. I feel like this person, this designer, to be sincere, she won't just try it at all. Even though you don't know how to make it, even though you, for the fact that she's a celebrity, if I was her, if I was in her shoes, personal, what I would do is, if I know that I would not be able to make it, and you really want to make it so that at least your name will be out there, you will look for someone that can help you out. Tell us help each other out. I've seen people helping each other out when you like, okay, this particular thing I don't know how to do. Please help me, show me how to do it. People that have done that, like, you just. <sighs> okay, I'm done with this. I feel like this table will literally just do it for ourselves at the end of the day. Uh, this next town, the upper part of it, the breast side is a corset. And what I'm seeing here is like, this uh, tailor just cut out circle, circle, uh, make circle. And just patch it up there. What's wrong with you telling her, Madam? Oh, sorry, oh, I don't know how to do corset. Oh, 
Oh, she, this is not even like, oh, uh, she didn't bring enough material. Because everything she needed was is here. She didn't even cut the corset at all. She didn't she didn't even just go there. She didn't even cut the corset. She just cut. I don't even I don't I don't understand. Okay, that being said, let's check out the next towel. Okay, now this is one of the ones that it's not all the time that you order something and it's actually bad. This one is very beautiful today. What she ordered and what she got is exactly the same thing. And this is what we want to see. Like when I want dress like this i want the dress to look like this <laughs> when i go to collect it from retailer and this is absolutely beautiful guys and this is another one exactly what she wanted and it came out beautifully i feel like uh, is it the designers find it easier to just create styles from sketching or what because these two look absolutely beautiful now okay this one she got the neck part of this really wrong this is an off shoulder dress I feel like she didn't understand it because the mode of person wearing this dress has one hand with glasses and everything probably she told it was this is an off shoulder dress you can actually see that on the other part of the sleeve where although the hair is covering it a little bit you can see that it's an off shoulder dress then the next thing the peplum is two layers first of all the peplum is two layered and definitely believe there is something in this peplum that was I am I think Estee or something that is making it stand like this. But the one that our tailor created, let's see. First of all, she did one. I think she did just two bits in. What I have to say here, I believe this is one of those customers that will carry material to tailor and bring style from Instagram and want to sew it for one five. Got skirt right. It's just that the skirt is a little bit too big. But I feel like the place where she got it totally, totally wrong was the top. The peplum is off. The upper part is off, everything is just off. Everything about this top is off. It's, it's not it at all. And this next one, I absolutely love this one. This one came out very beautifully. The only difference here, this is this is exactly what she ordered. To be honest, this is exactly what she ordered. Because the only thing I see different here is the pattern of the lace. The sewing and everything came out very beautifully, and this is what you want to see. This next one again is very beautiful. What she ordered, what she got, beautiful. And I think she, the, the owner of this dress wanted sleeves on her own, some kind of sleeve. And you can see it was put there for her and it came out very, very beautiful. So, um, I guess that was not all. There was this particular one I wanted to talk about. I feel like some online vendors, really, guys, some online vendors can be very annoying. I don't know why you do that to your business. Okay, now I feel like this person ordered this online. So you see something like this online that you ordered, and what you're seeing, they bring you this is looking like hospital uniform. I don't know. There's, some, there's just something. <laughs> I don't know where to start with this. Okay, let's say the, um, the person that ordered this doesn't have the body and everything, but it doesn't even look like what the person ordered at all. The fabric. Why, why, is the, why, is, why is this belt shiny? I just can't with this particular one. Mm, let's move to uh -huh. this one. I remember during Bank of the Looks when when Ibuka wore this Agbada, like every single person was making this Agbada. There were so many what I other versions what I got. This particular one was very trendy that year. Like guy, guy, guy. I won't be surprised if this guy is actually a tailor and to show up his craft and just show it. I always tell people like if you don't know how to do it just tell them sorry yo this time you are bringing you I don't know how to do it too. like okay if they don't if they want you to do something they'll be like okay do it like this okay do it like that if they don't want you to do something else and they say that style don't go is what they want sister and see you know you cannot make it please tell them you cannot make it let them take it to someone who can make it for them this one unlike every other one like this one, I feel like this tailor had everything she needed. Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I really don't know what she was thinking. She got the concept of it, but it's just, it's just not it. The upper part of it, I don't know if this, the owner of this dress told her because there are sometimes the, the owner of a dress will tell you, okay, I don't want, I want this towel, but I don't want this like this. Probably the owner of the dress said she didn't want the net or something. But even though she didn't want the net, the upper part of it is still not it at all, at all, at all. This is not it <laughs> at all. And oh god, this one. I have nothing to say. I just have nothing to say. If you have anything you want to say about this particular one, put it in the 
comment section because me personally, you know I mean, I don't have anything to say about this one. So about this one, please. Now, it's not everything you see online that you actually put material and go and take to your table and say you're waiting. There are some things that when you see a star online and you like it, please order it online. Buy it there. Buy it. Buy it from the person that is making it. It's not every single star you see. You go and buy material. I don't. This particular one now. Um, I don't know what kind of material. It's not even the material that is being was being used in the one she asked for that was used for her. Just absolutely not it. Then this one, what I ordered versus what I got, this is very beautiful. This was exactly on point. This is what we want to see when we order a dress. Please. This is absolutely what we want to see. This is going to be the last one I'm going to be talking about. For me, I believe that what happened here is that the net that the tailor used for this customer with the dress is not enough. It's not pleated enough. And I don't know if the upper part was supposed to be the same thing or if this or not this dress wanted something different, but the upper part is totally different. Totally, totally different. And the down, the net is not So that's what I have to say about this particular one. So thank you so so much guys for watching this video today. Thank you for staying tuned. Thank you. Let me know what you think about all these pictures that I shared with you today in the comment section below and if you have not subscribed to the channel please click the subscribe button turn on the notification bell so you get notified whenever I post a new video so with that being said I'll see you in my next video bye bye